Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We are back with more Curse of Monkey Island. Man, I'm loud. You can always tell when I record during the day when at times I'm at home as opposed to at night when the wife's asleep. I don't want to be so noisy then. Do you have a reservation? Looking at you, I have lots of reservations. Uh, no. No reservation slip, huh? Then out you go! Okay. You're kind of a dick. Alright, let's check out this. What's this? Hello? Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Come to the swamp. Get your fortune told. Voodoo and things. Formerly just voodoo. Visit our new location on Plunder Island. Been to the proprietor's establishments many times. All it got me was a death oath, a death, death oath, death, blood with a blood war with an undying pirate, and a number of T-shirts acquired along the way. Hello. I can't understand you. What was that? Eh, forget it. Razvuz. Blonde Beard's Chicken Shop. It's the two-way speaker for the walkthrough. Walkthrough, because they don't have driving yet. Danger Cove. I can actually read that one. Danger Cove. Badly spelled, but hey. Danger. Do not enter. Plunder Island Naturalist Society Nature Trail. Dye. It's a great big vat full of red dye. Number two. The Surgeon General of Plunder Island has determined that ingredients in this product may be harmful or fatal if swallowed. Is that referring to the dye or the lemonade? How inspiring. A budding young entrepreneur. What you talking about, Guybrush? Okay, incredibly old reference, incredibly old, but yeah, this this is Gary Coleman. Hello there, son. I mean, you open yet? He voices oh boy, it. oh boy. My first customer. Gee Willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. Well, that does sound like a good deal. Is it any Is good? Lemonade good? Is it good lemonade? Oh, gosh, yes. It's a very helpful drink. Even better for you than placing leeches on your tongue. Wow. Okay. What's the lemonade good for? It's a dandy tonic for scurvy. That's It'll true. It'll cure all your symptoms, including, but not limited to, gradual weakening, aching muscles, sunken eyes, painful gums, ashen skin, loss of teeth, internal bleeding, the reopening of old wounds, diarrhea, kidney failure, fainting, halitosis, and death. Yeah, scurvy's pretty awful. Will it cure evil pirate curses? No. But it has a refreshing citrus flavor with no unpleasant aftertaste. Okay. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Give me that lemonade. Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be Yes, you've nickel. referenced your bottomless mug policy several times. Bottomless mug. Hey. There's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy. And there are no refunds. Why, you little... Thank you. Come again. This has frustrated me so much I'm thirsty. Hey, kid, give me another... Here's another nickel. Wait a minute. All right. Beware. 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 That's all it says. It says beware. All right. It's rooted in with the vine. I can't just pick it up. I'm blocked off. Fortunately, I have saber tooth scissors. I wonder if this plaque says something about the flower I just cut. Yes, yeah, it just forces you to read a Ipecac, random plaque. Cephalus hippocacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the Ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. Syrup of Ipecac, it's an emetic. It'll make you barf. So how do I get the Danger Cove? Wow. 
This jungle is thick. Oh, wait, I cut the flower and then I gotta cut the undergrowth. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm not used to having to doing the same thing twice in the same spot. Thank you very much, Mr. Game Developer Person, man. Also, there may have been ladies on the team. All right, to danger! Okay, how, how, how many more, how many seconds do you think before Guybrush gets himself killed? Where are we? Where are we on the map? Oh, there we are. Ooh. Hey, there's a golf, that's a golf club. Hmm, I wonder what this sign means. Snake crossing. Snake crossing? What possible harm could a snake? Dates. About five seconds. Not bad, Guybrush. Well, this isn't good. You know what? Guybrush's outline looks a lot like Johnny Bravo. Maybe he needs to be a little buffer. Snake beating club. I can't see it, but I'm sure it's a nine iron. I can't see what that is, but I bet it's a box of full of brand cereal. The highest fiber content available without a prescription. Last I heard, they added even more live white mouse flavor. I.e., there's a bunch of stuff out of race that would get us out of the snake. Although being pooped out by high fiber cereal is not really the star option. I think here. it's a machete sharp enough to cut through even the largest reptiles. I bet that's a big old stick. The perfect snake beating size. That is a plank of wood. I can't see it, but I bet it's Snake Away brand snake repellent. Oh, that's the Jaws of Life. Okay. Okay, good. It's the Jaws of Life. All right. That, that's awesome. I think those that's are the awesome. Jaws of Life, which would what? really help me get out of this snake. Never mind what I thought it was. You don't need to know that. You'd think I was weird and declare me a criminal. I bet that ship I saw belongs Public to the pirates number who one. stole in a lane. All right. Ooh, a Fabergé egg. It's a priceless, delicate Fabergé egg. Yoink. A vacuum cleaner. It's a complete array of vacuum cleaner attachments. You know, Mr. Snake, you eat a lot of weird crap. You know that? A lot of weird crap. Okay. So let's open our inventory. We got coffee mug. We got eggs. We got sausage. We got pancakes. Breakfast. Somebody got eaten while working on their breakfast over here. It's the remains of a member of the Plunder Island Naturalist Society. Those guys Spare sure are tire, dingy dog. It's a reservation slip for Blondebeard's chicken. I hate to think what would happen if these fell into the wrong hands. Top secret plans. These should only be used for good. <laughs> Pile of phone books. Vacuum cleaner attachments. Okay, so it's just vacuum cleaner attachments and no vacuum cleaner. Oh, well, remember when we heard about that flower? The syrup of Ipecac? Yeah, you add the Ipecac flower to the syrup. It syrup of Ipecac. And now it's that syrup of Ipecac. Here you go, buddy. I'm going to dump this in your gut. <laughs> All right. Whew. Whoa, quick save. That sure was a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No. Hey. <laughs> Don't struggle. It makes it worse. Hang on, the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Now there's an odd sensation. That's one way to clear the inventory, I guess. Papa Pichu bush. Discovered by Plunder Island's indigenous peoples, this bush is named after a native word meaning youch. Youch. Touch it. Ah, Papa Pichu. Well, I got the thorn. I hope that was worth it. He's picking up the local language right quick. Okay, I got a reed, and I got a thorn. Quicksand pit. Quicksand pits of this type are common throughout Plunder Island's nature trails. Many an unwary traveler has found himself trapped and unable to escape. Uh-oh, someone, anyone, please, please help me, I'm sinking? <laughs> Why would he write that? Mm, no. I've got nothing to say. Tell it to go get help. Me? Maybe it's Lassie the chicken. A world-class pea shooter. It only sucked out certain things. So I'm mostly okay. I tied the helium it's balloon to now. the rock. 
And now I can puff on it. Now it's over the vine. It should be. Perfect. For there once we go. today, things are going. Nope, never mind. I love Guybrush's expression. Oh, darn. Hey. Yay! Thank goodness for those unpredictable Caribbean trade winds. And if the devs were buttholes, this would be a timed mini game. But as it stands, no. I just gotta use my little thorn pea shooter here to pop that balloon. Bang. Bang a ring. Fun fact, I wasn't going to kill just like 10 minutes waiting and watching, but if you sit 10 minutes in the quicksand, Guybrush does not sink, however that chicken does. There's a gaping hole in the boat. It makes the boat completely unseaworthy. Yes, it do. Those must be the pirates who've taken a lane. They took a lane. Shame on the... Ooh, that's a lot of sharks. It's the bay. Okay, it's three. Three's a lot of sharks when you're considering going over a body of water. Alright, I can now get to Danger Cove whenever I want. Good for me. Let's see. Oh, I know. One nice thing about this game is you can enter one that most adventure and RPGs don't do is you can enter from the either side of town, and that's where you'll enter town. Mysterious door. What is the mystery? It's the door to the chicken mm. restaurant. Oh, never mind. It's a shortcut. All the way across town. A shortcut I did not need. I forgot these existed. There we go. Boom. Do you have a reservation? Of course I do. Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see a your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me. Mrs. Brian Stoop. Brian Stoop? Brian Stoop. He's awfully reserved for a pirate. Yes, he is. This is the greasiest, crustiest, most revolting chicken I've ever seen. Take it. Ah, yes. He got our black and Cajun style chicken. I don't even like looking <laughs> at it, much less touching it. I don't even like looking at it, much less touching it. All right, there we go. How do you do that? Here, buddy, wake up. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Manny Calavera. Ah, it's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye. I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye. And he complained about me chicken. Oh. <laughs> It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. Want? Nah. I can't talk to him. Did you try to eat it? No, talk to him. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. But it's a great game and you need to talk about it. Manny, say stuff. What can you tell me about Grim Fandango? Anything? I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but this guy's lousy at marketing. Oh yeah, crappy spokesman. Hey, free it's a knife. Very sharp knife. Actually, that might not be Manny. It just be might be any body from the land of the dead, but it looks like Manny. That looks delicious. Biscuits and more. Buttery biscuit. Yay, biscuit! I I'm sure nothing will go wrong eating a biscuit in this place. Whoa! This biscuit is full of maggots. That's the and more. Aye, ha, ha, ha. that's my special ingredient. That's just the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing too, cause I can't keep them out of the food around here. You're freaky weird, buddy. I don't want any maggot-filled biscuits. Sure you do. It's a maggot-infested biscuit barrel. All right. So, how's chicken business? Excuse me, but. What a lucky pirate are ye! 
Me? You've struck gold, boy! I have? Gold, gold, gold! <laughs> I think you've confused your pirate stereotypes with your oh. grizzled prospector. A treasure trove of deep fried fun! <laughs> Pirates don't what want nuggets of gold. They want Blondbeer refined stuff. Alright. Wishbone I'll try sandwich. the wishbone sandwich with sweet gherkins. We're out of that, I'm afraid. Actually, I mounted just about everything. Not a drumstick left. Then why are you open? All I have left are those biscuits and a few tubs of our special Ipecac slaw. How's the Ipecac slaw? Not bad. But 15 minutes later, you'd be hungry again. Business must be good if you're sold out of chicken. Sold out? I never said nothing about being sold out. Then what happened to all your chicken? Ah, tis a story steeped in terror, marinated in mayhem. There be a horror that prowls the jungles of Plunder Island. A seven-foot-tall monster he be, and he has a hatred for mankind unequaled. His preternatural rage burns hotter than the coals used to roast a million of his kin. He is El Pollo Diablo, the devil chicken. The devil chicken! <laughs> Everybody devil takes chicken. this so seriously. He hates me most of all. Well, he and would. His revenge against me must be tastier than me hearty giblets and cracklins party mix. What's he done? He turned loose all me chickens, returned them to the wild to roam the jungles free as nature intended. Even now, I have a huge order to fill and no chicken to fill it. But I know he's not through. Ruining me business is just the first step. Someday he'll return. For me! But mark this. I'll be ready for him, and a seven-foot chicken means me business will be thriving once more. Very true. How long have you been out of chickens? Weeks, months maybe, and it's not the loss of business that hurts me the most. No? I miss the taste of me chicken. You can dine this world over, but you'll never be a connoisseur of carrion till you had a taste of me savory squab. Why, even now I gots me a craving for me palate-pleasing poultry. Ah, I can taste it now. Me crispy bounty of breaded beaks. Breaded There'd be beaks? nothing like the hearty crunch from these pan-fried jewels. Isn't that a little hard on your teeth? Aye, but the challenge of it all be half the dining enjoyment. Now that I got the thought of that crispy chicken extremity in me head, I'll be pining for the crunch till I get me something to crack me teeth on. To whom are you going to deliver your chicken? There lies a pirate ship in danger called, and the oh, first mate of that ship fancies me chicken. But I better be delivering their chicken soon. Most likely I won't even have time to cook it. Why is that? You see, I got me this delivery in 30 days or it's free policy, and I'd be running a bit behind. What are the pirates of Danger Cove like? They're a secret of lot, and I can't say I've seen too much of them. They seem to be what one would expect from a bunch of grog swinging pirates. As filthy and hairy a bunch of swabs as you'd ever hope to meet. But beware of their captain. From what I hear, he's got the disposition of a shark in need of a root canal. If he be catching you near his boat, you'll be tortured for sure. But sharks don't get root canal. They can just shed a tooth and regrow it. I'm questioning your logic. Nice gold tooth you have there. Hi! It glistens like the golden topping of grease on me luscious batter fried chicken. You can quit trying to sell the damn chicken. All right. Would you like to join my crew and sail the Blood Island? What? Leave me shop unguarded. Why, you treacherous tripe? You're lucky I don't take out me whisk and run you straight through. Whoa, whoa, calm down. I was just asking. Sorry. I'm as edgy as a beached whale in Nantucket. Just look at what fear that demonic fowl has done to me nerves. Don't you ever like to get outside the shop? Aye, I love the outdoors, <clears throat> especially the beach. Why, I'm in fact a member of the Brimstone Beach Club in Smorgie. Been a member there for years. How did you become a member? I threatened to run them all through. Then I lost me membership card. 
Last time I remember having it, it was in me breast pocket. I believe I was in the kitchen preparing some grub. Then I had that awful sneezing fit. Oh, that was bad. No matter. I guess I'll just have him issue me a new one. Do you have any specials? There's no chicken. We're out of potatoes, but we still have some eyes left. No, thanks. Ew. Do you have any other specials? There'll be a heaping glob of lard I keep in the back for special occasions. No, thanks. Nope. Do you have any other specials? Have you tried you have peat any... moss and tree bark? Many parts be edible, you know. No, thanks. Do you have any other specials? One word for you. Hummus. No, thanks. <sighs> I think that's where it starts to loop. I'll let you get back to work. Aye. Value meal. Value meal. Two drumsticks plus super slaw. Looks like a fine deal if you like slaw. I'm not a fan of slaw, really. Biscuit cutter. Yoink. Man, he's jumpy. I think he said he wanted something crunchy. Well, I'm not going to eat this floor jawbreaker, but maybe he'd like it. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to you. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth. But it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. So, he wants something softer, do he? Yarr. Well then, I've got gum somewhere. There we go. Here you go, buddy. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Mmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. That's a heart attack symptom, buddy. Ooh, a pin. Find a pin and pick it up, and all day long you'll be able to pop bubbles. I cleaned out of his beard a lot easier Why, than your life. Why, you little scam. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. All right, now. I'm not going to use the gold tooth in the mouth. If you're playing normal, you can just walk out the door. But if you do it here, he'll say, hey, let me check your pockets. You lose the tooth, and then you have to do the trick again. So the trick here is to not close the inventory. Chew a piece of gum. Mmm, tastes like sirloin. Then, grossly the enough, in the gum. you put the tooth in the gum, use the helium balloon on yourself. I will never get used to this inventory. Frommel of Royals! Oh, that's made my voice sound funny. Piracy, the Lechuk way. Chapter 1. Funny. How to get more than 15 men on a dead man's chest. It's a reservation slip for Blondebeard's chicken. Anyway, anyway, while you got that, then you reach you the gum. And the helium in your lungs will make it float gently away over his head. Anyway, next time we'll have to find it. Cool. But we can't find it in here. We're going to have to go outside. Remember, the tooth is out there. Alright, thank you very much everybody. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not, I'm not the boss, or you. Take care.